Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at uh, corn snakes and their basic care and also going to show you a video where we set up the enclosure for them. The corn snake that I've got uh, I've had for about five years now. And it's the first snake I ever got. It's fair to say they are an easy snake to care for but you shouldn't underestimate obviously the things that go into it um, and that their basic needs are met in order to ensure they've got a long and healthy life. Okay, so let's talk about housing requirements. Now, temperature-wise, we're looking around the basket spot at about 30 degrees. The humidity is going to be quite low. It's a dry environment, probably no, no more than 50% humidity. Um, its substrates are going to be dry. It's not going to be misting in there. Um, I use soy, sorry Aspen shavings at the present, which I've always used. I've had no problems with that. All the people will tell you that... Um, other things like cypress mulch may be better alternatives, that's fine. Uh, as long as it's dry, it's clean. I find that with aspen shavings that the snakes have no health issues, it's been fine. It likes to burrow and dig into the, um, the substrate. Uh, so I've not had any problems, but other people obviously may tell you differently. Um, but obviously do your research and see what works best for you. The, uh, the, the Obviously the water bowl is provided. I'll keep that close to the, uh, the heat source. Uh, but not directly underneath as you don't want to evaporate too much of that water. Uh, they are primarily a species that will be uh, on the ground, but something for climbing should be provided, as my snake will tell you, he does like to climb, to be fair. Um, so the, the, he has that ability to climb, or plenty of ground space. Uh, now obviously wood vivarium is probably the best, you need to create that thermal gradient, obviously wood vivarium will uh, hold the heat better, um, heat source needs to be provided at one end so that then you can lay the other end of the vivarium to be a cooler end so the snake can choose what kind of temperature it wants. Uh, with mine I always keep the hide down on the cooler end as I find that the uh, snake tends to provide, prefer it down there. Um, so it's not obviously hiding in a baking hot um, hide. Uh, and obviously the, the vivarium as you can see behind it's got uh, good ventilation holes in it as well, so that there's good airflow. When it comes to UV for the um, snakes, obviously again this is something that people have their preference on, and it, it's debated at the moment as to whether or not it's required. Uh, I've found that it's not been required for my snake, I've not found that there's been any sort of um, issues with the snake's health. Oh, obviously as long as there's a good 12 hour day night cycle, I find that uh, LED lights provide that uh, perfectly fine. Okay, food wise. Now, uh, my snake's five years old, presently it's fed an extra large mouse once every two weeks. Uh, obviously, when they're younger, I'll probably be feeding them once a week. Uh, obviously, smaller prey. Now, the thickness of the prey, the mouse, for example, should be the same thickness as the snake's body at the large part of the snake's body. And that would be how you would deem appropriate size for the snake. One thing I want to talk about is the uh, the heat source that I use. And I use the Arcadia DP projectors. I tend to favour these in most of my vivariums over um, ceramic heat meters, for example. I think that the benefits are far greater for using these. They're also good if you need to provide any kind of uh, heat source at night. Then obviously it doesn't produce any light, which is one advantage. Uh, I'm going to do a more in-depth video about DP projectors, so look out for that soon. Um, but yeah, the one behind me, like you say, it's an 80 watt uh, bulb, the last for ages. It's very rare that you have to change them out, produce uh, good heat. Um, so yeah, obviously if you live in a cool area, then you, you know, it's quite cold in here, so then you may want to think about having a day night cycle for the, uh, the snake, so it doesn't get too cold at night. Mine, as the house is quite warm, it's usually around uh, 20 degrees anyway at night. So I'll just switch it off and just allow it to uh, stay cool and I've not had any issues with that. But if your house you find, you know, you live in a, a country or an environment where it's quite cold, then you probably want a, something to supplement that during the uh, the evening time. But uh, daytime, obviously, yeah, it's um, around 30 degrees, as I said earlier. Um, and that day-night cycle is provided by the LED lights.
And they're going to show you the process we went through of setting up this vivarium you can see behind me. If you like the video, then please hit subscribe and look at it for more videos featuring other animals coming soon.
So thanks for watching till the end. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you.